Um, this is about the riots that's happening in Myanmar and Assam, and which is spreading to some parts of you know the country. And I was just blogging about what exactly happened there, and then after going through it, I realized that I am nobody to judge what is right and what is wrong, and I'm no one like you know to tell about this issue because it is really sensitive and. Um, so, but one thing I can say for sure is that it was very wrong of that man to kill somebody that true, but we're not really, you know, sure whether it's based on religion, so that is our mistake, like, sometimes we always think that it's always about the, you know, maybe the religious belief, maybe it's because of the religion that, um, people are being killed, so we do not know exactly what the facts are, and, you know, but people just like to assume things and that is why assumption always create riots and it's very important to get the facts right but whatever happened has already happened and all I would like to say now is that um, as Indians we should all stand together and there is always unity in diversity and that is what we always have belief in and that is what we are really proud of as a country that is always something that we you know proudly say that india in spite of its diversity we are united you know you look at the north you look at the south you look at the northeast and there's like so much of cultural differences and you know so many religions and you know there's like so much that this country has and so much of diversity like and you know it's really for us to look at each other as a human and not look at our culture, not look at our, the, you know, the differences, the way we look, the way we talk, or, you know, what we eat, what we wear. And it's important, you know, for everyone to look at each other as a human because we have to find our humanity and unless we find that there won't be unity and there won't be peace. And everyone deserves to live a happy life. Everyone deserves to live life without fear, you know. And everyone deserves to have the freedom, the liberty. And, you know, even with this entire thing with the Assam and, you know, looking at all the other countries in the world which are facing um, such kind of, uh, you know, unrest, I think that, um, you know, as humans, it is important for us just to be human. You know, just to know that this person is alive, this person is living, has feeling, has senses, just like me, and wants to be, you know, free, and wants to be peaceful, and just want to live the life. And I think that way we will ignore a lot of, lot of, you know, fight that's, that is happening. And, but this is just like one part that I would like to say, and I don't know, maybe, um, depending on, my mood, I will see whether to upload the, the the other blog that I did just like 5 minutes or not. But yeah, that is just something that I would like to share on my part regarding all this that's happening. And then it's also for the Northeast people not to be scared because the government is trying their level best to help. And even the government has set up helplines which is really nice so that people can uh, be fine and be safe and you know not be scared. And also people should be educated and aware of, you know, because it can be like if China is having a fight with India, then we will become the Chinese. If the Singaporean are having a fight with India, we become the Singaporean. So if there's another riot and if it's like any small eye people, like, so we become that, like, for the Northeast people. So I think that, you know, in that sense, there has to be an awareness, really, really, really big time awareness. And people should just be sensible and be sensitive and next time when there is a fight it shouldn't spread all over because these are something that our freedom fighters do not fight for and yeah so that's all i would like to say